I'm going to document how I live stream to YouTube, Facebook, and Twitch all at the same time using A10 Mini and YOLO Box. I'm going to talk about the overview of the setup, then I will go in detail about the four video sources that I use. A10 Mini setup, okay, the YOLO box setup, and how I mirror my screen from the Android phone to the YOLO box. Okay, who is this for? It's for people like me, vloggers, streamers, who wants to keep things small and portable, and also who wants to stream to multiple platforms with multiple cameras. Overview. There you go. A mirrorless camera with the YOLO box A10 mini video switcher MacBook Pro 2013. Okay, there's a reason why I say 2013. One more, the Android phone, which is the Samsung Galaxy S10. Let's talk about our video source number one. The Panasonic Lumix FZ2500. It's a mirrorless camera that shoots 4K. But right now, I am transmitting in 1080p. This is the main camera for the talking head shot. You see this head that keeps talking? The video output of this camera goes into the A10 mini switcher via a HDMI port on the side. Now, let's look at video source number two. The MacBook Pro 2013. Why must I say 2013? This is an old Apple computer laptop, which has a HDMI port. The new ones don't have. The new ones, you've got to get an adapter. I'm using this to present my slides. The slide itself is coming from the MacBook Pro. That's all it does. The output is coming through the HDMI port using a HDMI to HDMI cable that goes into the ATEM mini switcher. Next, we have the video source number three. It is Samsung Galaxy S10. This is the main demo of the presentation I did two days ago. Okay, I was demonstrating this app called CapCut. I need to mirror the screen to my live audience in real time. In real time. Okay, so that my live audience can see the mirror image of my Android screen. How is it connected to the YOLO box? Let me show you. There's only one port. So it's a USB-C port, which goes into a, a USB-C to HDMI converter. And then there is a HDMI to HDMI cable that goes into the ATEM Mini. And then we have video source number four. The Sony MC50. It is a, an old video camcorder. A very trusty one. I'm using it to, to get my wide shots. I'm also using it for for close-up shots. I will just zoom in okay, to get a close-up shot, especially when I'm demonstrating my Android phone, right? So I'll, I will zoom in really close to get a close-up shot. The Sony MC50. It's not in production now, but I will put the equivalent camcorders in the link below. The Sony MC50 camcorder does not go into the A10 mini. It goes into the YOLO box instead. Okay, and it goes into the YOLO box using a mini HDMI to HDMI cable. Next, we have the video switcher, which is the Blackmagic Design A10 mini. It's a multi-camera selector, or rather, multi-video source selector because not all of them are cameras. I can put up to four video sources. I only have three. One from the mirrorless camera, one from the MacBook Pro, and one from the Android phone. I can only select one at a time. Main camera, the talking headshot, and I switch over to the slides, and then I switch over to the Android phone very easily. And the output of the a10 mini goes into the YOLO box via a HDMI to HDMI cable. The A10 mini is an interesting device. So if you want to watch more of my A10 mini reviews, go to 
this link below. Okay, it's a bit long, so I'll leave it in the description. Now, the live streaming studio itself. The YOLO Live YOLO Box. All right, right now, it takes in the video input from the Blackmagic Design ATEM Mini output okay, via the HDMI input source number one. And then it has HDMI input source number two via the Sony MC50 video camcorder. And then the sources goes in and I can switch from here. Okay. I can switch between the ATEM Mini output, which is this one, and the Sony MC50 output, right? The white shot. All this goes out to three locations, YouTube, Facebook, and Twitch. If you want to know more about the Yolo box, go ahead and check out my, my full review by clicking on that link. Okay, I'll leave the link in the description. Okay, now, now let's talk about the audio source. As for audio, it's a little bit complicated. The voice you hear right now, my voice, is picked up from this mic. Okay, this is the Logitech H111 headset. It's going into the Panasonic FZ2500 through the microphone input. And in turn, it goes out through the HDMI cable into the A10 Mini. And from the A10 Mini into the yellow box and to you. What about the other audio? And then there is this audio coming from here. If I can play back. Comes with a detachable remote control. An extendable road up to 690 mil. Okay, that's the audio coming from the Samsung Galaxy S10, which goes out through the USB-C port, through the USB-C to HDMI converter, into the ATEM Mini. And now the ATEM Mini goes into the YOLO box. I hope I kept that simple. And from the YOLO box, it goes to you. Okay, right now, the audio from the MacBook Pro is turned off because I don't need the audio. Audio levels are also being adjusted before I went live. The volume is adjusted on the ATEM Mini and the YOLO box itself. Everything else you should know. Okay, first of all, the title you see at the beginning of this stream. Okay, this title bar here is generated from the YOLO box. There's also the scrolling message. Okay, scrolling message coming here, all right? And then there is the logo on the top, on the top right-hand corner. I can turn it on or off. All that is done on the yellow box. And the lower thirds is from here too. My name and my website. Next, let's talk about the internet connection. Right now, the yellow box is streaming to the internet via an ethernet cable. Okay, the yellow box can also connect to the internet via Wi-Fi and mobile 4G data. One more thing. Right now, as I'm presenting live, it's also being recorded onto an SD card, which I've inserted into the Euro box. Pros and cons. What do I think about this setup? Okay, every time I go live, I try a different configuration. Let me give you my honest opinion. Let's talk about the A10 Mini first, the pros. Okay, the A10 Mini can take in four HDMI video inputs, whereas the YOLO box can only take in two HDMI inputs. Well, the YOLO box can take in actually five video inputs, but only two regular HDMI ones. Like today, I need four video sources and it only has two, so that's where the A10 Mini comes in. Okay, I'm going to play and talk at the same time. Standable road up so to 600 the Android is talking millimeters. and I am and a talking. Mini tripod. That is audio mixing that can be done on the A10 Mini. I can mix up to six different audio sources, four from the HDMI input and two from just purely audio connection. Uh, whereas the Yolo box, I can only choose one audio so that's where the, the pros of the ATEM Mini comes in. Does that mean the, the yellow box is no good? They actually work together very well. 
they are like made for each other. Now let's talk about the pros of the Yolo Box. The Yolo Box can live stream my videos to the internet without using a computer or a third party software. Everything's live streamed from within this tiny little box. Not just live stream, it multi streams. Right now, I'm going to three places YouTube, Facebook, and Twitch. If you notice, I didn't use any monitor because the Yolo Box is a monitor. Okay, if you think the screen is too small, I can expand the screen. It's also a recorder, which I've already mentioned twice in this video. And then it is also a switcher, which I've demonstrated just now. If you like this video so far, click the thumbs up and share this video with your friends. Okay, leave a comment or question below. And if you haven't done so, subscribe. This is Adrian Lee from videolane.com. See you in the next one.